long. We'll see the Houston Rockets taking on the Boston Celtics. Jabari Smith. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Smith's got the game going here with the first basket for Houston. Pass to Johnson. It's rebounded by Houston. Thompson inside. Lots of room. Two points. That one goes. On offense, here are the Celtics. Four-point game. Johnson in the corner. Pass to Parrish. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. In the ultimate Defense combo ball. guard, Johnson can pass yes. with the league's first best playmaker. Austin shooting their first free throw of the night here. Now here's Green. Smith up top. Plenty of space. And the rebound goes to McHale. It can be a little disheartening when you do everything right and come away with nothing. Here's Johnson. Good work defensively by Smith. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Now, here is Bird. After Jalen Green's miss. That's another miss. Already they've missed three out of four to start. The Rockets with another miss. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Boston Celtics. Parrish with it. He's picked up by Brooks. And it's Parrish missing. Just a little off to start this game. One for five, looking to find some kind of rhythm. Here's Smith. And he lays it straight in. Smith. Smith's got his second bucket of the night. A shooter of Smith's skill can be dangerous, but defenses will only get better as the season progresses. Here's McHale. Nifty move. Out of and that's out of bounds. Boston Seven's will ball. return possession. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Six on the shot clock. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Knocks down the three ball. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. And it's Brooks in the corner. Outside Green. Back to Smith. On the wing, Thompson. And a miss there on the triple. And so is McHale with it. He'll bring it up for Boston. They trail by one. A wide open look for Blue. It's good. The assist that time from McHale. 153 left in the first quarter. Pass to Holiday. On the wing, Green. Nice D from McHale. He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. I think that surprised him a little bit. And it's McGarish with the jam. Any chance you get, you want to put yourself in a position to succeed, and that's what he did there. Great job of reading the floor, got to the rim, and Two made a play. Well, they weren't going to pass up that chance to get out and run following the steal. Jeff Green. And Green gets Assistant. it to go. Fred he's heady, he's unselfish. All Van Fleet does is make winning plays. Out to Bird. Fifty-four seconds left in the first quarter. Count the basket. They're getting him shots in his spots. That's understanding your personnel. Tate. And the rejection by Pitch. And as it goes out of bounds, Houston able to keep the ball. 46 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Van Vliet with it. And it's McHale picking him up. Tate, no good. 
Here's Boston. They're on a 14th to four run right now. Back to Johnson. Here is Parrish. McHale trying to free himself. And it's Parrish missing. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for Fred sure. Van Fleet. That's Three a points. very controlled dribble from Fred. Doesn't need to get to the rim. He can just stop and pop. Here's Parrish. Johnson surveying the floor. Four seconds left. Oh, that's blocked. Knocks it loose. One quarter in the books. And it's been a close. How the Celtics are doing. Guys, what jumps out to you? Stats wise. Uh, throughout the first quarter, they did a great job of just running the offense. Credit the game plan coming in. They've identified the right matchups, and the execution is there. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Back to Thompson. Robert Parrish comes up with the rebound. And pushing it up, here's Boston. Third left side. From outside the arc. The shot is good. And so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. Could there be any doubt? I mean, Bird's such a dead-eye shooter. Sometimes this guy practices his threes with his eyes closed. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Shooting for Houston. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Thompson twins, Amen and Asar, became the first set of twins to become first-round draft picks this summer. Asar added, I always have someone there to push me and to keep it 100 with me. We're never too high or too low. We're always just there for each other and want one another to succeed. Kevin? Oh, man, that's tremendous. David, thanks. They are just killing them on the interior. And Green slams it in. Well, once Green gets inside, he has the body control to adjust to the defender there and finish. Parrish. The shot's good on the assist by Johnson. Parrish has got four points now in the quarter. How many times have we seen a possession like that from today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Bird outside. And again, Boston with the triple. High offensive IQ. He makes great reads and adjustments on the fly. And the basket by Johnson. Is Johnson with the basket. Johnson's got the lead up to 11 now for the Celtics. And Rockets trail by 11. Outside Holiday. Bangs home the trifecta. Holiday's got his first three points of the game. Yeah, field goal percentage above 50 now. Their offense is starting to show. Three pointer, third. They get it back. Harris. That's good. He's five for nine. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Back to Holiday. It's stolen by Johnson. Here's McHale. Bird outside. It's good. The assist that time for McHale. Bird's got 14. And the D has gotten a little bit of a last year defending the triple. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. From deep three point territory. And the ball goes out of bounds. Nice touch by Bird. Now into the lineup for Houston. Jeff Green. Rockets trail Jay by John 13. Tate. Fred Van Fleet. Pass to Brooks. Houston moving the ball around. Green inside. Rocket six. Shoots over Ainge. 
and it's wide right. It's off the rim. The defense is right there. Quality contest, and they threw him off his rhythm. Pass to Bird. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. High percentage look for him, but bottom line, they're not all going to go down. Van Vliet outside and taken away by Johnson. And the layup fall. That is Johnson with the basket. Johnson's got four points in the quarter. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at both ends. Steals, fast break buckets, and, and the other team in scramble mode. On the wing, Green. To stop the crowd. Celtics shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Foul. And I feel like guys like Green, a great scorer, really should try to utilize the penalty. The Rockets making a switch here. And both free throws good for Green. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Pass to Ainge. Now here's Parrish. Covered by Van Vliet. And yes, it's good. Parrish has got 12 in the game. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. Green with the ball. And a deep three from Van Vliet. And the, second point and the last the second. Your Celtic. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. And here is Johnson. Bird outside. Pass to Ainge. Out to Bird. A three. It balls three, making him 6 to 11 in the game. And they're getting points. They're getting stops. And this is how they'd like to play all the time. Yes, when it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. Love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Back to Green. For the three. Here's Smith. Another shot. The shot is good off the backboard. He has six. And smart play by Smith, using that build to get in there and just fight for the rebound and the finish. And it's Parrish missing. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look, but this is why we play the game. And now, latest from our reporter, David Alder. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. Van Vliet with it, and it's Johnson picking him up. Three-pointer, Brooks. That shot misses. This is turning into a slow start here in the second half. Seems like they left that offense in the locker room. Celtics leading by 18. To the paint. Out to Bird. Back to McHale. He uses the glass to finish the lane. And that's now nine points for Kevin McHale. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Pass to Parrish. Picks it out to Johnson. Good in the assist. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. On the sideline, our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. We've got the Los Angeles Lakers taking on the Boston Celtics.
Tip off goes to the Lakers. Here's LeBron. Here's Davis. Anthony Davis. And it's Davis Assist finishing it off. LeBron James, James continues to impress with his pass, and I think that's his greatest attribute. Outstanding assist there. McHale up top. Bird right side. And the layup's good off the glass. Legend. And you know in the painted area, Bird has a variety of moves. Can take you either direction and finish with either hand. He's a nightmare to defend, and believe me, I woke up in sweats many a times dealing with that guy. Here's James. Can't cash in from close range. And about a minute gone here in the first quarter. Here's Bird. Pass to Ainge. Back to Bird. Now Johnson. Just five on the clock. Austin needs to get off a shot. Here's Ainge. No good with the triple. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Now, here is Bird. Johnson outside. There's the three. Back to Bird. Green for two points. For the quick release, Bird gets that shot off in an instant. He was ready and waiting to strike. Pass to Reeves. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. Anthony Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. And this guy, to me, embodies determination. Small at his position, but he still gets up and keeps plays alive. That's mind over matter for sure. The offensive rebound. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. Down low. And it's Parrish finishing it off. There's the peripheral vision we talk about. Bird finding a wide open teammate. Here's Russell. It is good. D'Angelo Russell. Oh, he had him spinning. He looks like he's dizzy after that crossover. From deep, Johnson. Kept alive by Boston. Knocked away. In the corner, it's Bird. Fires the jumper from the corner and nails it. Bird's got six. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Deep two from Russell. The Lakers keeping it going. A new 14-second shot clock. Bird outside. Pass to Ainge. Nailed from three-point land. Talk about a nice-looking stroke. Danny Ainge has one. He's a consistent, deadly shooter from beyond the arc. Out to the wing. Russell. Assist. Up and in, off to an efficient start, two for three from the field. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. LeBron outside. Drills it LeBron from outside. James. Off the catch, LeBron not lacking confidence or hesitating. The Celtics with the lead. Looking it over from downtown. Pass to Johnson. Takes a three. A rebound by the Lakers. Goes up. And the dunk by James. And the total package, James, is so much fun to watch. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And 
and so it's Boston with it. McHale with the ball. And Hachimura picks him up defensively. That shot a little beyond his normal range. A little surprising to see Johnson take one from deep, but his focus and shot mechanics make it work. Outside, Russell. Here's James. LeBron Good James. answers goes to Russell. James has got seven points in the game. And they've done well at taking advantage of some great defensive positions and getting the ball in the paint. Bird throwing it down. He doesn't do that a lot. But he showed you right there. He can do it when he needs to. D'Angelo Russell. Barry's the long-range jumper. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. That's the end of the first quarter with the score. And so it's Larry Bird making things happen for the Celtics. 18. He notched eight the points. Lakers. Consider how the Celtics are doing. Guys, what jumps out to you, stats-wise? Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. Oh, there's no doubt about it, guys. Without those second-chance points, this game would have had a much different feel to it. That is his shot, guys. So you can't just give it to him. You've got to get up on him and get into his airspace there. Three-pointer. Reeves can't hit. And so Bird will bring it up for Boston. Three-point lead. And the foul called on Austin Reeves. Austin Reeves. That's his first foul. First personal foul. First team foul. Left side. Celtics passing it around. Puts the move on. Shots good by McHale. McHale's got the lead up to five now for the Celtics. The ball distribution was there. I mean, outstanding work all the way around. Top of the key, Hanchi Murray. There's the triple. They get it back to the wing on the left. Great feed Anthony from Davis, Davis, a big guy with nice vision. And stolen by LeBron. Russell high post. Seven points in the game. Celtics leading by three. Pass to Parrish. And here is McHale. All sorts of time. The kick out to Ainge. Parrish. Parrish with the and it's Parrish with the jam. And the Chief making his presence felt on that offensive backboard. Doesn't look like he's outworking you until you see the ball drop through the net. And Russell Andrew gets it to go. Three points. And they've got to talk to you each other on D there. Miscommunication. And now he's able to make a pay. McHale outside. Shoots over Hachimura. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Now there's an example of good defense beating good offense. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Spencer Dinwiddie has talked about buying into Austin his role. Reeves. He says you have to have confidence that's borderline irrational, but a perspective that's very realistic. You've got to know who you are. Kevin, he adds that he's not attempting to be a Mount Rushmore type guy, but a talented player who can help a winning team. That's a good perspective, David. Thanks for the score. And it's Paris slamming it down. Contact does not phase Slim. He makes it happen regardless. Pass to Hachimura. Trying to find Davis. He's got it now. Out to Russell. This one for three. Yeah, That's well, another one for him. His three. fifth in just seven shots. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of the last five mates are from beyond the arc. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense Austin practically Reeves. giving them those shots. Austin shooting their first free throw of the night here. Oh, you got to love the raw tenacity Danny Aiden brings to this game. I mean, this guy works so hard to make an impact and just refuses to let other players push him around. He's a great competitor. 
Not much falling for him this quarter, guys, and you can sense his frustration. Well, a careless foul, and he'll go to the line James. for three free throws. Second personal foul. Bird would not be Third denied there. Foul. Great intensity to play through the foul. The line for three. Good on the second free throw. And he nails the third. Yeah, a nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. My kind of boots. Straight ahead, playing downhill and physical. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on. LeBron James. And James throws it down hard. Austin Reeves. And what an explosive finisher LeBron is. Rocking the rim whenever he goes up like that. Outside, McHale. Pass to Parrish. And it's Parrish with the jam. Yeah, he, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. You know, numbers don't always tell the story, guys, but his assist totals do paint the picture here. I mean, he's got everybody involved. Hachimura with it. Defended by Bird. Out to Russell. Shot clock at five. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Here's Davis. And it's Davis with the jam. What determination on the boards. His work ethic really standing out right there. Well done by Davis. Parrish. Robert Parrish with the That's in coming off the assist from Johnson. Parrish has got eight points here in this quarter. You make your teammates better by giving them good passes. That one was perfect. Able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Johnson outside. Pass to Parrish. Over Davis. Back to Johnson. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Outstanding execution. Good job working the ball inside. Lakers trailed by four. To the left wing. Here's Reeves. Inside. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. It goes on Tim McHale. Bully ball. LeBron has been doing that since he stepped into the league. And both free throws. Good for James. And so it's McHale with it. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. The Celtics working the ball around now. Got that one up quick. Bird's got the lead up to five now for Boston. Boy, Bird has really been in the zone throughout this game. Stolen by Parrish. Johnson, that's for two. Again, the zone looks good for two. That makes three in a row to start the second half. Here's Russell. And there's the drive. Excellent D there from Parrish. To the inside. Kicks it out to Johnson. Pass to Bird. Here's Parrish. Good. And it's Bird picking up the assist. And it's a nine-point Boston lead. Well, it's been a great start for this offense here in the second half. Four for four. Up again. Anthony Davis. Davis on the follow. Well, you got to put a body on Davis when he goes up in the air because if you don't, it's too late. You'll be Instagram. Pass to James. No good on that one. Some solid defense there for McKay. And they're one of four here to start the second half. Back to Bird. Now here's Parrish. That's the three five. Shot number 12 goes in. He's made seven of 12 now. I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. It took him no time at all on that one. Reeves just got his second basket of the night. A terrific read on the part of Russell that time. Scanned the court, spotting the open man, and then whipped it there for an easy duck. 
Pass to Johnson. To the middle. And it's Parrish finishing it off. Just Mr. Reliable again here today, Kevin. I mean, they need his points, and he's producing. Oh. Oh. Anthony Davis. Davis puts it down with a 40. And this team is just Two going wild there. about Two it. Minutes. Man, that was impressive. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. The Anthony Lakers Davis. remain on their grind. Darvin Ham says, I'm preaching daily preparation from the rest you're getting, how you're taking care of your body, sleep habits, nutrition, workouts, recovery, film work, being efficient with your practice time, and your shoot-around. Winning habits are built daily. Kevin, I'm very tired after saying all that. Back to you. <laughs> I'm sure you are. They actually do all of it. David, thank you. Davis can't get it to go. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area where they can afford to get lazy. Oh, wow. Yeah, another column in the stat sheet that hasn't gone in their favor. To climb back, they've got to put forth more effort. Bird outside. Beyond the arc. Lakers oh, and he almost had a four-point play right James. there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. Foul. First team foul. You know, part of what makes Bird exceptional is his all-around talent. I mean, he gets it done on both ends of the floor, and that's how you end up being an MVP in the league. It's good, and he's 100% from the line thus far. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Russell inside. And basket number six to a stat sheet. He's now six for ten. They just aren't attacking from the perimeter like they did in that first half. And I think that's part of the problem right now. Here's Bird. Down. Lakers trailed by seven. And it's Hachi Murray in the corner. Outside Russell. LeBron outside. Fires for three. LeBron that one James. falls through. It's his sixth make from the floor this game. Now six for ten. He's become so comfortable from long range. That shot's now a weapon for LeBron. Johnson from outside. And so it's Larry Bird making this a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. Lakers trail by four to the paint, and it's Davis Anthony finishing Davis. it off. His ability to dominate games is what makes Anthony Davis a top-tier player. And it's the Celtics with the ball. Here's Ainge, and it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. Here's James. James can put inside. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Pass to Parrish. And James pulls it down. The Lakers on offense. And man, is this team on a roll right now offensively, Greg. So fun to watch. They're playing with so much confidence, which is why they're tearing it up on this end. And now here's Johnson, the fast break chance. Pulls up. And it's sent back by Russell. Well, I tell you what, his teammates love seeing this. So do I. I mean, when Russell is able to block a shot, that's a big bonus. Well, pr probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that. Absolutely. Way. And you can sense that the pressure might have gotten to him a little bit, but he did do enough to put them in the lead. To the middle. Here's Davis. And he's still Davis. up. Now he is 9 of 10. Hey, that kind of contact is not going to get it done against Davis. He's much too strong for that. Down low. Here's Parrish. The pass was put in just the right spot. Parrish is at 9 points. Here in the second half. It's been a tight one so far. Very close game. And matchup is really what it's all about. These teams are really equal. Oh, no 
know what to do about that. Davis just powering it down. Well, has to put that one away. A solid opportunity. timing on these jumps he's somewhat on the small side for a power forward but he just never gives up we're in the fourth quarter here just under two and a half minutes gone pass to Reeves and it's off from three-point range you know even though they're on top in this one You'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. Sure would make things a lot easier, too. Mikhail handling his business. Never looking pressure or hurry, unfazed. Here's Russell, and he makes good on the Lakers. And the Lakers lead by three. And now just having some fun. Russell, you know he likes the big moment. Great confidence and great result. To Johnson. Bird outside. Shot clock at six. It's stolen by Davis. And Hachimura with a clear back to the right. And it's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. One forty-six left in the game. There's Russell with the three. Well, you know, this is DJ's calling card. Has the strength and athleticism to guard multiple positions. Boy, that is awesome defense, guys, against a capable finisher. Well done. I'm sure the coaches love that. Outside, Russell. Six on the shot clock. To the inside. Davis. Picks it out to James. And James comes to James. And this is who LeBron James is. An incredible leader. When the game is tight, this guy is willing to step up. Yeah, you know what? It's funny. With Bird, the more the game tightens up, the more he relaxes and gets loose. And those competitive juices take over. There's 45 seconds left in the fourth. Russell with a wide open look. Nails the tray. Oh, wow. Talk about saving something for the end. D'Angelo getting it done. You the man. Inside. Here's Parrish. Big shot that time from Robert Parrish. This is why his guys trust him so much. He delivers. And James throws it down. You know, we've come to expect this from LeBron James, guys. I mean, when his team needs a bucket, he rises to the occasion. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Good! And he has brought them to within two points. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one, two. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. I don't think you want to get loose and sloppy or ease up, but it is time for them to start using that clock a bit. Here's Kirsch. Goes up again. It's held in by Los Angeles. In a wide open look for Hachimura. Got it. Now oh, it's a seven point Los That's Angeles lead. Game. Nice play, and you can see. Thank you, Captain. Richard Jefferson. This is Brian Anderson. And we've got our reporter, Ali LaForce. We've got the Boston Celtics and the Chicago Bulls. And the Bulls start out with the ball. Here's Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Look at the power of that. He has to be one of the top dunkers in the game today. Percentage look right off the bat. Jordan goes in. 
And slam up by Jordan. Oh, man. Talk about hang time. What a wicked double clutch finish. Hey, when you have that kind of space, you're allowed to get fancy. Here's Bird. Auto foul. Scotty Pittman. First personal foul. First team. Goes up off the inbound. And out of bounds. It'll be Chicago ball. Chicago ball. And here's Chicago. It's stolen by Johnson. Here's Bird. Great positioning on the putback. I always love the hard work on the glass. Just great activity. Pass to Jordan. To the middle. Here's Cartwright. And he takes the feet in stride and slams it home. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Here's Bird. Boom! He jams it straight down. Just a textbook lead pass right there, putting it right where it needed to be. Pass to Jordan. Parrish with a rebound. Oh, I can see some miscommunication on defense there very clearly. They were super fortunate it didn't torch them with that mistake. Three. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Armstrong with a bucket. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. Inside. And that Robert one's good. Parrish. Parrish has got a second bucket of the night. Johnson. When guys are moving the ball, sharing it, it makes the game so much more fun, both as a player and as a fan. And that's good. Daniel His first bucket Hayes. of the game. Transition basketball, the most reliable way to generate easy looks. Yeah, when you hustle on the break like he does, good things tend to happen. Here's Cartwright. Outside for Grant. Shot clock at five. Here's Jordan. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. The Celtics with the lead. First quarter of play, and we're about three minutes in. Parrish, no good. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. Excellent D, avoided fouling, and got in perfect position to alter that shot. Boston on offense. Left side, Johnson. To the paint. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. Harris has got six points. Danny, <laughs> I just love the ball. One twenty-seven left now in the first quarter. Here's Armstrong. To the wing on the left. Here's Jordan. That bucket makes him three for five. His accuracy is on another level this quarter. Really high quality shooting. Pass to McHale. Here's Ainge. And again, Boston with the triple. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. Here's Pippen. Count it. One for one to start the game. The floater is so tough to defend against. Nothing defenders can really do but shake their heads. Here's Johnson. Pass to McHale. Forty seconds left to play in the first quarter. To the left side wing. Here's Ainge. Back to Johnson. From behind the arc. Rebound by the Bulls. Out left to the wing. Back to Jordan. Wing shot on the way. Again, the Bulls score. That's a
the guy you want taking shots, a quality offensive player. Down low. Oh, it's stolen by Jordan. Armstrong with a bucket. And you can tell they're in sync right now. Expertly turning the steal into fast break points. Here's Ainge. That's the end. And so, moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Boston. So far, they haven't had to force anything. They're swinging the ball around and turning good passing into points. You know, another thing that has impressed me has been their numbers of points in the paint. Just dominating down there. They're just getting whatever shot they want in close. Chicago trailing here. Here's Jordan. Graham, left side. Back to Jordan. Shoots over Johnson. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Jordan's got 10 points. And so it's Johnson with it. He brings it up for Boston. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. Grant outside. Back to Jordan. And again, it's Chicago. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. If the defense lets him inside, he will not hesitate. He'll gladly drop that thing right in the cup. Here's Paris. And he dunks it down. It's so sick, the vertical ability. That was flat out awesome. He has that effortless knack for getting the hoop. And now the Bulls in transition. Here's Jordan. No good. Johnson with the defensive effort. Pass break. Here come the Celtics. Here's Bird from outside the arc. No good there. And up the court come the Bulls on the break. A great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. Pass to McHale. And that's out of bounds. Bounce. It was last touched by Grant. Boston. He had the right idea. Just couldn't come up with the swipe. In deflections, they're a stat that all teams track. They show who is the most active defensively. Parrish. And that one's good. good. Parrish. Kevin. Adds to their lead. They've been able to rely on him all night. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. It'll be Celtics ball. Boston ball. Bulls making a switch here. Coming onto the floor for your Bulls, Will Purdue. Johnson on the wing. Pass to McHale. Another shot. Oh, nice fake, but the layup's off the mark. Foul. Had enough time to finish, and that's what he'll usually make. First personal foul. First team foul. And here the second quarter of action. Just a hair under two minutes played. And that's two awful trips in a row resulting in turnovers. The jump hook. And that one's good. Parrish. Parrish has got 15 points. Pass to Graham. From downtown. They get it again. Here's Armstrong. Three-pointer. And again, no good by Chicago. This is why you want ball movement and player movement. And that's made it hard for the defense to key in on any one individual. McHale. Kept alive by Boston. Has to perish. Now Johnson. Tries again. Five to shoot. McHale. Kevin McHale. And finally, they hit one. McHale's got four points this quarter. They have no answer defensively inside. Mike Jordan with the bucket. The Celtics with the lead. Here's Bird. It's deflected. And they're able to recover. Has to perish. Chicago grabs the miss. Intercepted. Oh, got
got a piece of it. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. Coming onto the floor for your Bulls. On defense, the Bulls. Shots good by McHale. McHale. Give him eight. The assist. He's been playing great unselfish basketball. Really putting the rock in the hands of the right shooters. His court. Vision has been on display in this one. He's doing a tremendous job just orchestrating the offense beautifully. There's 39 seconds left in the first half of this one. It's tipped. And they're on the run. Pulls it in from the elbow. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. It on the night. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Here's Grant. Oh, Grant throws it down. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. And that could be the spark they needed to make a little run as they try to even this thing up. Jordan. That'll be a five-second call. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Trailing by eight. Here's Bird. Pass to Ainge. Fires from deep. Drills it from deep. Ainge. Ainge has got 11. The defense really fell apart there. You can't afford to leave them all alone at the arc. Here's Hodges. Oh, trying his luck from deep. Out of bounds. Boston will have it. Celtics ball. Right side, Johnson. Pass to McHale. All alone. Shots no good. Made four. He's missed four now. Boston foul. Kevin McHale. Second personal foul. First team foul. Here's Hodges. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. That's not how you want to come out of the break. Three straight misses, they need to settle in quick. Danny Ainge. And breaking out the one-hand slam. Man, an emphatic way to extend the lead a little more. Paxson, good. John Paxson. The first three misses behind them and finally ended their third quarter drought. That's Wage. Here's Bird. No good on the three. Here's Paxson. Here's King. No made basket yet. Goes back up. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Third personal foul. Second team foul. That free throw, no good. for your goals. John Paxson. And he sinks the second. So it's Boston now. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Pass to McHale. And Williams over to help. Back to Johnson. McHale no good. Fantastic defense giving full effort. Here's King. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Here's Johnson. To the inside. And the powerful one-handed slam. He's earning his 
Mm -hmm. Keep offensively a key part of their winning effort at this point. And they call over the back here. Too much contact. King. A terrific box out that draws the over the back call. He had to know that call was coming. You can't treat another guy like a jungle gym out there. A shot by Johnson. No good. Here's Paxson. Pass to King. Third quarter here. And three minutes have come off the clock. Driving to the basket. To the wing. Right side. Down low. Here's Paxson. Top of the key. And again, Chicago, no good. And that's a low percentage shot. And I'm sure he knows it. And those are the type of shots that just drive coaches crazy. I wouldn't be shocked to see him sitting on the bench if he tries that bad boy again. Substitution on the court. Pass to Parrish. To the left wing. Here's Armstrong. Oh, and Johnson with a block. Out of bounds. And it's out of bounds. Still Chicago's ball. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Out to the right wing. Pass to Jordan. Out to the right wing. Six to shoot. 16 feet out. On the defensive end, much more energy and effort since halftime. They're making their opponents work for every look. Oh, great job by this coaching staff. Seeing that play develop ahead of time. Hits his man and strike. Pass to Pippen. Launches it. 